All right, guys, welcome back to Low Balling Outdoors. I'm Alex. We're back at it with the Bagheera. We're trying to get this thing lined out for competition, seeing what we can do. It's a windy day again, so I'm going to have to adjust for wind. But we're going to go ahead and just shoot golf balls at the 50, 100, and now 200. We also got a few clay pigeons out there we might smoke just to goof off and play around. At the end of this video, I'll give my overall thoughts of the Bagheera B14R. I've had it a little while now, and I've shot several hundred rounds through it. So, first thing we're going to do is we got a golf ball set at the 50, the 100, the 200, and then a few clay pigeons. See if we can break them. Uh, let's just go ahead and get this done. Do any of y'all have a Bagheera uh, B14R? I would definitely like to know how y'all set yours up, maybe what kind of scope and stuff you all put on yours. Let me know. Hit me up in the comments. All right. The 50 yard golf ball I don't think will be too much of a problem because this thing is super accurate let's go ahead and give it a shot no problem no problem at all now we're gonna go ahead and stretch his legs out to the 100 we did that in the last video, but let's just do it again. We gotta dial this thing up. Shouldn't be that big of a deal uh, because we've been doing it. I've shot a lot of this thing a lot off camera, just getting it sighted in, getting the things, bugs worked out. All right, 100 yards. It's like butter now here's the ones that I haven't had as much practice with is the 200 but I have faith Spaghetti can get it done so we're gonna go ahead and make our adjustments for that and give her a squeeze Well, that was so easy. Lab, well, let's go go ahead and clean up all them clay pigeons. This thing's awesome. One. Two. Three. Four. 200 yards is a heck of a piece for 22 but check this out we grazed that ball right there 200 yards guys we shot up them uh, clay pigeons turned that into some orange dust oh yeah get out there have some fun but be safe so my final thoughts of this rifle as I kind of finish up this series I really like it. It's extremely comfortable where you where you rest your hands. They got a really nice pistol grip in here. The trigger is super crisp. Matter of fact, the first couple times that I squeezed it, it shocked me how light it was. It just was bang. It was right there. I absolutely love these magazines. They are so easy to load. In my opinion, Bagheera has done it right. They have just made a 22 that you can take out and just win with. Now, granted, this is my first higher end 22, like competition style 22. I have shot a CZ 457 in the past. I really liked it. Um, but this was, on, was on the shelf when I was going to purchase one for myself. I really like this thing. It's really nice that you can take about any Remington short action uh, component put in here, whether it's triggered, a chassis, or whatever you would like. That's awesome. The accuracy of this thing. Well, if you've been following along with this thing, you've been you've been watching, same as me. The thing's awesome. Now, I live here in Missouri, and it's windy here, like, all the time. So, we got to kind of make adjustments for the wind and stuff, but this thing rocks. I've been shooting this SK Standard Plus ammo through it. 
actually the second uh, box of ammo that I ran through. And I ran it, I ran CCI Standard Plus through it at first. It shot really well with CCI Standard at 50, but as soon as I got out to 100, it just kind of opened up and it, was, it wasn't very good. This stuff kept it closed. I love this stuff. Now, this rifle is not as high as a Voodoo. I've never shot a Voodoo rifle. I think it would be a really cool comparison to get one on the channel and just see how it does, comparison-wise. So this thing's like a moderate range priced rifle whenever you're looking at the competition styles because they can get the sky's the limit. All right, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. Till next time, keep it cheap.